let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, one of you uh, viewers asked me a question. Should you buy Chinese gear, motorcycle gear, such as motorcycle helmets, jackets, pants, gloves, boots, etc., etc.? First off, you're saying it all wrong. You don't say Chinese, you say Chinese. <laughs> No, I'm just joking, man. But anyways, in my opinion, I would not put my life in the hands of Chinese motorcycle gear. Not to say that the motorcycle gear is bad quality, which is a crapshoot. You don't, it can be and it, it may be not. But you know what? You don't know how what testing they've done on their gear. If, if should that gear fail, and set you up for a real effed up day, you know, when you go down, if you go down on your bike and that gear doesn't protect you, you can't even sue the company. They're in China. In my opinion, I would not trust gear made in China. I would stick to the well-known brands like Dainese, uh, you know, Showy Helmets, Arai, so on and so forth. Icon. Icon is on the lower end of the scale, but I would... I could personally tell you that their gear is great. Although I've never tested it really. Hope I never do. But people have. And uh, they say the gear is actually is pretty good. I would recommend uh, Icon gear. I love this Icon Overlord jacket. Even though I don't have it on right now. Because it's kind of cold out here. But I, I love that jacket. They don't make it anymore. It's sad because that was a really, it's a really awesome looking jacket, great quality. And uh, these newer Icon jackets, I'm not really digging. But, uh, you you know, I did a video on this already, talking about, you know, inexpensive, you know, ways to save money on motorcycle gear. I'll include a link to that video in the description and comment section of that video, so you can go check that out. I don't want to reiterate what I've already uh, talked about already, but no, in my opinion, stick to well-known name brand gear uh, that's not like I said there's there is Chinese stuff that's good like these fairings which I highly recommend the fairings are great and uh, fairly inexpensive you can get a, a custom paint job have them do it send it out to you for like five hundred dollars ship to your door I've had no problems. I've had on my CBR 600 RR, and I had these fairings on my CBR 1000. This CBR 1000 RR, and the reason I did that with this bike, because I bought this bike new, is to preserve my OEM fairings, and also to have a custom look with this bike for cheap, 500 bucks. In my opinion, don't don't even take your OEM fairings and get them custom painted. That's like the most stupid thing you can do. So not only will it cost you a hell of a lot more than it would with custom painted Chinese fairings, but you know, should you go down, you're gonna have to buy a, you know some China, some OEM fairings and have it custom painted to match up. And it's just uh, it's stupid in my opinion. But I'm cheap. If you're not cheap and you like blowing a lot of money, then hey, custom paint your OEM fairings, whatever. Save your money and get good quality gear but if you want to see reviews that I've done on, on motorcycle gear that I've had through the years uh, go to my website cyclecruiser.com click on my videos and have all my videos categorized into various playlists there and I have one of them titled uh, one of the playlists is called motorcycle gear and uh, subscribe to my all on motorcycle channel hit thumbs up if you like this video share it I appreciate all you guys take care and I wish you guys the best out there Deuces!